everybody. Welcome to another lead in with Lauren. I got my uh, Naramata love uh, t-shirt on here because Naramata, for those of you that have followed me for a while, know that we have a little uh, vineyard out here, a little farm, just a little tiny farm uh, in the Naramata region, which is part of the Okanagan, part of the uh, British Columbia, Canada wine region. There, you can believe it in British Columbia, now over 400 wineries. So it's a um, it's an amazing growing industry here. And it's the crush. In fact, uh, right now they're picking our Lenar Pinot Noir and our Pinot Gris literally as, we, as we're recording this. So it's a fun time, a very busy time of the year. And of course, winemakers, the great ones, are always trying and experimenting. They're always trying to make, obviously, the best possible wine. And, but they know one day they've got to take it and put it in a bottle, cork it and ship it. It can't be sitting there in a barrel or in a tank forever. Otherwise, it doesn't do anybody any good. So while they want to, you know, make as great a wine as they can, they know it's not about perfection. You can't almost make a perfect wine. You can get close, but there's always something that's impacting it, um, both the nature of the season of harvest. By the way, 2021 here in the Okanagan is going to be a pretty good year. Um, the Secondly, uh, it's what you do with it and all the things that winemakers do to try and make it as great as possible. But one day, they know that it's got to be good enough from their point of view to ship and to get it out there and to put a price on it and to put a value on it. And then hopefully that customers uh, buy it and enjoy it. And even the great winemaking critics, you know, well-known like Robert Parker agree that it's very rare to give any kind of wine a hundred point rating. And even if they did, they would likely rate it different on a different day. And and it's just the nature of the world of, of perfection. It's very elusive. Now, the message for you is, you know, I've seen this and this, I want to share this uh, little sign that someone gave me and said, forget perfect. And, you know, that doesn't mean lower standards. But what it really means is that progress is way more important than perfection. And when we get hung up on perfection and we ask ourselves why we we oftentimes is driven by some you know fear of not looking good or it won't be good enough or and we always we talk ourselves out of it and hence we just don't quote ship it we don't get it out we don't make something happen because we're hunting for that last little ingredient that last little thing that and then we can even worse it can spiral us into micromanaging trying and trying to just get into almost analysis paralysis because we're just it's just not perfect and the message is uh to everybody um is to step back and because you know you just can't get it perfect enough and gosh does that get in the way so i just wanted you to think about this week about yourself, about the people that work for you, uh, about the things that you're trying to do, to forget about perfection and to think more about progress and to celebrate how much you can move something forward and continually make it better. Sometime, really make it extraordinarily phenomenal, maybe almost close to perfect. But if you get hung up trying to make a perfect hit a home run every time, man, you're just going to sit there with that bat in your shoulder and you're not going to ship it. Get it out. Be a great uh, leader by not, you know, shipping out junk or, you know, sending stuff out there that's broken or, or defective. But sometime really know what fit for use is and and get it out there and try it and then make it better from there. Forget about perfect. Maybe that um, rings with you this week. It's uh, kind of in theme with the crush and. Um, yeah, and maybe, you know, I'd also say have a, if you're so inclined, um, doesn't hurt sometimes to have a glass of Pinot too. That kind of helps with um, progress as well. So 
Thanks and uh, have a great week and uh, look forward to seeing you on our socials and see you here again at another lead in next Monday. Thanks. Bye for now. Mm-hmm.